everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Allison. You're about to see my most favorite project to date. We did a decorating project in someone's house from start to finish, meaning paint, decor, rugs, organization, everything. I'm so excited to show you. All right, so my husband and I did a project for a young mom and her three kids. She lives in this adorable little condo. It's um, it's very cookie cutter though. It's kind of all one color and she wanted to kind of freshen it up and, and make it feel a bit more like her and her style. The best thing is that this was a new condo, which means everything was really easy to work with. Like everything was 16 inches on center. You don't get that everywhere and especially not in the places that I've worked on, like our apartment and stuff like that. So let's check out what we had to work with and look at the before. So first off, we have the entryway. So the big problem here is more storage. So as you see, she has hooks on the back of the door that she wants to get rid of. She has hooks on the inside of this door, which is her pantry right now. She also needs place, a place for guests to put their um, jackets and stuff. So this is a big problem area, as well as the kitchen. So those are the two areas that we're tackling majorly in form of organization. She has this current shelving unit that she wants to get rid of. She wants more closed storage. So either we're going to take the items that are in the pantry and put them in a new unit that I bought or put all the appliances in that storage unit. The idea is that we are going to make this into a coffee bar, have some floating shelves, or they won't be floating, they have brackets. So open shelving, just kind of neaten up this area. We'll be getting rid of this, or she'll be moving it around the house somewhere or donating it. Back to the pantry. So we are going to turn this back into the coat closet. I think it was originally a coat closet and whoever owned this unit before her turned it into their pantry, which is a great use of storage, but when you have three kids, you need coat storage and you need boot storage. We live in New England. The goal also is to get rid of this, where all the boots are and the, they'll go in there. So this area just needs to be cleaned up, streamlined, and just feel a little bit more homey and welcoming. So the third area that we are going to take care of is the dining room. So this is her dining room area. She has an open concept living. So we're going to try to divide up this from the, from the living room. The last thing that we're gonna do so that it feels separate is a new light fixture. It'll really define the space, give them more light, and um, yeah, it'll be great. So the first thing in projects is always to prep the space. In this case, we're painting. So we wanna take everything off the walls, including the electrical covers and those big mats that are in the dining room. She has three kids and as you know, we're all teaching and learning from home. So she has those as, as uh, learning tools, but maybe not for the dining room. So we took those off the wall and also took everything out of her kitchen since we're painting those two little half walls. For the main color in this space, I chose Glacier White, which is just such a pretty white. It is nice and creamy and warm, but not too creamy, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can tell in the video. We just finished painting the top half. So if you can see around me, hopefully you're not gonna be dizzy. Um, so we painted the top half of all the walls that all the beadboard is going on like this. Hopefully you can see. We also, well, Ashley, she left, but um, she emptied out the closet for us. So as I mentioned here, my cousin Ashley, who is like a sister to me, helped us so much. I mean, literally we could not have finished this project when we did if it weren't for her. All she needed was a nice coffee to get it done. <laughs> um, we'll get her on the payroll soon, but yeah, she was amazing. I'm so thankful. I think we're gonna paint it a dark color in here so that it, you know, it's gonna be boots and coats and all that fun New England weather stuff. So I think it would be good if it could be a darker color so that when it gets marked up, it's not a big deal. Like you don't see it as much as a white closet. It's looking good around here. We're getting ready to do the beadboard. 
it's gonna look awesome. It looks so fresh in here, already so much brighter. So all this talk about beadboard and we haven't really explained anything to you. So the whole bottom part of the wall, uh, she wanted beadboard. So this nice warm texture with a warmer color than the top. To get this started, we used a really expensive um, stud finder. All of our other stud finders have not worked, but this one worked perfectly and then we marked with painter's tape. Instead of marking it with a pencil because it was already painted and lovely. So we put that up and um, we were good to go, except we weren't because it took a long time. Um, Connor did amazing on this. I always know that any project that he does, you know, no matter how much time it takes him, it's going to be just perfect because he's so good at everything. So I'm so thankful for that. I just knew we'd get it done. Um, but yeah, so he had to measure everywhere that the outlets were, measure in, measure up, measure down, and cut with the jigsaw and all that jazz. He did a great job. After that, we went in with this nice paint color and um, made it look so beautiful. It really went well with the glacier white on top and yeah, it looks so good. So again, thank you so much, Ashley, for helping. As you can see, she painted here and she painted that nice, dark, rich color. I actually don't remember what color choice it was, but it came out so, so nice. So now onto my favorite part, the light. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I bought the light fixture on Amazon and I thrifted baskets and put it all together and it looks like a million bucks. This was seriously my favorite part of the entire decorating project. So yeah, you'll, you'll see by my face how impressed I was when Connor wired it all and it turned on and it looked fabulous. So one of the big solutions that we accomplished with this light was that her kids do um, homework at this table. So she needed more light. So the three bulbs are better than just the one. Instead of that like just regular glow, it kind of gives more poignant light. Um, over the table so that they'll be able to see a little bit better. And then it also gives off that cozy glow around the basket that just, oh, it looks so good. So the final step is installation. So this piece that is in her kitchen was actually a full hutch. So awesome because she didn't want the top half of the hutch. We're using it for something different. So I could steal the two shelves out of there and put brackets on them and make beautiful matching shelves. Great, right? Open shelving. So I loved that solution and we put multiple hooks in the entryway, in the hallway, and in the closet. Lots of kids, lots of guests will be coming so they need somewhere to put their coats and backpacks and stuff. So there are plenty of hooks now. So, entryway, we did beadboard in here, and the idea is to make it feel cozy and warm and inviting. So we have the gold, which gives sort of a vintage touch and makes it feel like someone lives here and like it's collected. So we also have hooks here. These are just for guests because this is no longer the pantry. So it is now the coat closet for the kids. And so we have hooks that are lower because she wants them to be able to get their coats themselves, put them away themselves, um, be self-sufficient because she's a single mom. So she wants to be able to let them get their own stuff. There really is a lot of storage in here. She's losing quite a bit of pantry space, but um, she's gonna put some pantry items in her cabinets and you'll see what we did in here. So in here, we painted this all fresh and clean. We painted this all fresh and clean. And so this is a lot of storage for her. This has two shelves in it. It's a nice coffee bar. And so she'll be able to put all of her appliances in here, her crock pots, stuff like that. And then up here, she can put dishes, whatever she wants. I just styled it for right now. Um, but I'm sure that they'll, I mean, these uh, brackets are really strong, so she'll be able to put really whatever she wants on here. So let's go into the dining room. 
So on this side of the dining room, we put beadboard as well. It ties into the entryway, makes it feel nice and fluid, fluent, whatever you want to say. Um, but it also ties in the rest of the dining room, so this really feels like it's its own room because it's an open floor plan in here. So it was really good to define the space, uh, hung up more artwork so that it looks so cozy and homey. She wanted a lot of um, pictures of her family, which makes total sense. So this was a really nice place to display it. So now to the other side of the dining room. This is where her table goes, obviously. So we did the beadboard here and this is the end of it. So this is the hole behind me is her living room, but we did this nice divide so that it feels like a separate room and it just, it feels like its own space. She already had this print, it's so cute. Um, it really, the black, the accents are really, really pretty with it. And it actually ties in the light fixture really well. This light fixture is so beautiful. It's very upscale and cozy, but it also gives off a lot of light. The kids also do their homework here. They have play computer games. They just have family time here. So it was really important for her to have a good amount of light, which this gives, and it's so cute. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. We loved this project so much. We thought it came out so well and the homeowner loved it too, which is the biggest win. If you have a cookie cutter space or you need organization solutions or just something simple like, I don't know, hanging a picture, let me know, I'm your girl. Please like and subscribe. We would love to be continuing with this content and that's how we know that you like it. So please let us know and we'll see you next time. These are baskets. They are. Wow. It looks very nice. Oh, oh it smells horrible in here. It looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, I think it smells horrible. Um, also, I hung up the hooks in the wall, on the, the entry wall, um, on the beadboard. I messed this up. <laughs> that clip is literally like three seconds long. <laughs> Whew, that was rough. <laughs>